In this tutorial, we will show you how to export design data compatible with the new Trimble Earthworks machine. First, we will review and manage controllers and machines that can be used on the job site. Next, we can create our job site, allowing us to prepare site data and assign the job site to designated controllers. Following this, we can create our job site design. Here, we can designate controllers and machines to the job site design, as well as add design data, set out points, and design maps. First, we will look at the field data ribbon and select controller manager. This is where we set up data collectors and machines that will be available for you to use on your job site. In the controller manager, we can create, edit, and delete current and new controllers. Some of the controller types may have older software versions that do not support the settings of an extended coordinate system and embedded geoid subgrid. More recent versions will have an option to enable compatibility for these older versions. Next, we'll create a job site for the subdivision. In the job site manager, you can select where to publish the project library data that the Earthworks will use, either a folder or TCC. Once you have named the site, simply select the control points to copy the data collectors either graphically on screen or by layer. You can add avoidance zones that can be wetlands, water mains, fiber optic lines, or an area where people can get hurt like a steep drop off. When the machines and rovers get too close to the avoidance zones, they will be warned with a flashing screen and an audible alarm. You can then add controllers and machines to the project through the reassign option. Now you create the job site design and select the controllers you want to send data to. Next, choose the model type of your design. Once you select your model, you have the option of clipping out just a portion of the model. Then we can build a design map. This is a selectable feature and boundaries used in the site controllers to stake out points, features, alignments and surfaces in the field. As you can see, Business Center makes it easy to build the files for the field. You can manage your job site through the Managers tab located on the ribbon. This is where you can edit or update your designs as well as add and remove controllers and machines. Before publishing, review your data once again through the 3D Viewer or Project Explorer to check for any problems or flags. Now for the export of the new style Earthworks files, there are two methods. Option 1 is to publish to your library. Your files will be located in your C drive. Project library, projects, your specific project folder, and then office data. In this folder, you should have one design folder and three files, a .cpz file, .cal file, and a .smz file. In the design folder, you should have a .dsz files for all the designs that you have created for your job earlier. You can also copy to a USB for a direct transfer after publishing to your project library. The files will then be located in your USB drive, project library, projects, your specific project folder, and office data. In this folder, you should have one design folder and three files, a .cpz file, .cal file, and a .smz file. 
in the design folder you should have .dsz files for the designs that you have created for your job site earlier. And the second option is published TCC, Trimble Connected Community. This is done through the job site manager in your field data ribbon demonstrated earlier. Here you can choose either a folder or TCC. In summary, create or edit the necessary machine and control for the job site. Ensure job site is created with designs in the field data ribbon. Use the job site and design manager functions to update your project if necessary. Review data and 3D view for any irregularities. Publishing earthwork files. There are two ways to export earthwork files. The first is to publish to your library. Your files will be located in the C drive, project library, and in projects. You can also copy the project library to a USB from within Business Center. Ensure that the design data has been first published to your library. The second option is a published TCC, Trimble Connected Community. This is done through the job site manager in the field data ribbon. Ensure that published data contains the following file types. An office data folder, a .cpz file, .cal file, and .smz file. In designs folder, .dsz files.